fall. All right. Are you okay? Ow! Sorry, you're not taking my temperature, are you? No, no. Get me out of here. All right, hold on a second. Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, oh. Whew, man. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Well, I fell from the 100,000 feet, hit a wall at 260 miles an hour, and you're asking me if I'm okay? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> you busted the back of the theater is what you did. Shit happens. <laughs> I am Kevin from the planet Kevlar. We know who you are. You've been in my show for like 15 years. See what I just did there? I manipulated him into thinking I'd forgotten. Manipulation is one of my greatest gifts, excluding facials. I do not come in peace. I am hostile. Destroy all humans! Destroy all humans? See what I just did there? You manipulated me? You're easy. <laughs> Humans are a kind and gentle species. You think so? No. <laughs> You're sucked. <laughs> yes, sucked you are, yes. <laughs> mm, dead you shall soon be, yes. So why did you come back here? I love your planet. Oh, that's cool. I want to marry Earth. <laughs> you can't marry a planet. You're just like my dad. He doesn't understand you? He's nodding too. <laughs> so how can you marry a planet? I was engaged to one. Really? You should have seen the ring. <laughs> Her name was Charlotte. She was a sexy class M planet with a hot little atmosphere and nice tits. <laughs> but I don't get how you can marry an entire planet. When you're in love, size doesn't matter. All right, that's a very nice love story, Kevin, but uh, I've got a bigger problem going on tonight. Maybe you should brush your teeth more often. No. <laughs> it's Teddy Bear. He wants to leave the show, and we're trying to convince him to stay. Have you tried Giggle Gaggle Hooey Schnizzle? <laughs> giggle Gaggle Hooey Schnizzle. What's that? Using the position of the stars and planets, I can predict the future and personality traits. That sounds just like astrology. It is. <laughs> See, I don't believe in astrology. I think it's an outdated ancient belief system with no basis in science. Like religion. <laughs> well, give us an example of your uh, giggle gaggle, whatever you call it. Well, on your planet, you have Taurus the bull. We have Kermit the frog. <laughs> No, we have Kermit the Frog. No, you got a little green nutlet, we got a real green frog. <laughs> you have 12 signs of the zodiac, we have 17 million. 17 million. See what I just did there? Fooled me again. You're an idiot. <laughs> we have three. Three signs of the zodiac, is that enough to predict the future? Yours, yes. <laughs> Well, give us a demonstration. All right. Someone from the audience, call out your astrological sign, and I will tell you your characteristics. Gemini. Gemini. First one to yell in the crowd, sign of the dig mouth. <laughs> Next. Leo. Leo, you are ambitious, but stupid. You enjoy long walks on the beach in winter. You're an alcoholic. Nobody likes you, I'm so sorry. Next. Pisces. I smell you. Next. Walrus. I didn't know you had a walrus. <laughs> goo goo, kachu. <laughs> Next. Scorpio. What's that name? Scorpio. Scorpio. You love animals that are by nature naive and a slut. <laughs> Everybody likes you. 
Kevin, you're not telling us anything about Teddy Bear. Oh, oh, Teddy Bear. He likes uh, cuddling, napping, and licking. He is often scared a lot and usually shits himself before he gets to the woods. <laughs> and pretty tasty, too. Well, can you tell us? Is he going to stay in the show? I mean, do you think our, our efforts to convince him to stay will work? I'm getting something. Hold on. Wait a minute. Something is coming in. Hold on. Um, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> What's your sign? Well, my sign. Well, I'm a Virgo, but Virgos don't believe in astrology, if that's any constellation. <laughs> huh. What about you? What's your sign? I was born under Uranus with Venus rising. <laughs> and what does that make you? Very horny. <laughs> my species are not a very happy one. Why not? The pollution on my planet is so bad it rains raw sewage every day. Raw sewage? I'm sure glad we don't have anything like that on our planet. You know the end of Beijing. <laughs> Don't worry, at the end of your days, you'll all be praying for a driving shitstorm. What, what end of our days? Are they near? They're nearer than they were yesterday. <laughs> What's going to happen at the end of our days? Oh, the usual hysterics and screaming. It stings. It stings. Stings? For some reason, when Earth is at the end of its days, there'll be flying jellyfish. Flying jellyfish? See what I just did there? <laughs> Fooled me again? You're a dickhead. <laughs> Flying jellyfish, that's ridiculous! <laughs> They'll be walking. Well, you know, people have been trying to predict the end of the world for thousands of years. And one day, someone will be right! <laughs> well, Kevin, from your point of view, do you think us humans have any hope? I mean, will we solve the global warming, feed the hungry, save the poor? Do you think we'll mature as a species? The future of the human race is beautiful. It's true. There's no more wars or climate change. The earth is greener too. Peace will reign and no one dies. You'll get power from the weather. And food is free and plentiful. Because humans, you will get your earth together. Really? See what I just did there? <laughs> <laughs>